everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Banished. So, let's uh, pick up where we left off here. In the last episode, we incurred some problems with a few things here. More importantly, the tools here. So, we had quite this scare here. We saw our tools grow in inventory, which is a good thing. However, we ran out of iron ore that left our blacksmith practically inoperational and that drained us of all our tools here so luckily we were able to pick up some iron ore off the map here and we do have 174 in inventory right now so hopefully this should uh, should allow us to build back up an inventory that we can fall back on but as soon as this iron ore runs out we need to be ready to uh, to produce that more efficiently instead of us taking it off the map here so before we continue here well we could uh, we could start start the game here at 1x we need to make sure we have our mines set up here and not only our mines we might also want to change over from producing just rough tools to iron tools right here so that we don't see any scares of that nature in the future and we also saw some other things that we might want to take care of here because we have been facing some issues that are due to uh, well not paying attention enough to what our inventories are as well as other grants here so let's uh, let's have a rundown here so our population is still growing that's very good we are also getting some students now that is also very very good and here are a few problems mounting here so obviously our clothing is not able to keep up with our population growth but we have placed some orders with traders so hopefully we'll see some cotton seeds show up very soon so let's uh, let's keep working on that that should at least solve the clothing problem for a long time an upside that we have here is that our education is finally developing into something we can be proud of that's also excellent our food though that is also something we might want to take a look at here but we do still have a fishing dock on this side here as well as an additional hunting blind so now that we have this trader here let's see what he has for us Frisian cows yeah that would be helpful but I'm really really looking for cotton at the moment so thank you for offering but I'm gonna have to pass so our food that is really something that we need to uh, look into as well that's going to be even more detrimental to our situation if we run out of that. And we could add a hunting cabin right here. It's not going to have all the room in the world, but at least it would help us with some more food as well as additional food here. And maybe also leather to tide us over. But it's not going to be too much here. But we do have six laborers, so I don't think it's going to necessarily be a bad idea here. So let's... Uh, see if we can get a hunting facility up here so let's go to the food production right here pick hunting and let's just go for a standard hunting cabin here let's see what we have village version and a tiny hunter but I think it's about time that we uh, build a big one here maybe like that there should be some room at least yeah let's build it right there more food protein-based food that's also good and also maybe that leather is gonna be helpful for us because this clothing we really are not able to uh, keep up with that but this is only going to be a temporary issue here okay so food it's gonna help or our hunting cabin rather is gonna help with that food also we still might want to work one additional hunting blind here so let's let's do that and let's check our padding too. We might need more houses in this uh, in this area right here. Let's also build a, another lean to right there. This one is full. So yeah, food is okay-ish, I guess. Log, also not something we are looking to fix right away. We still have plenty of logs, as well as plans to build two more Forster's Lodges right there. Okay, stone. Yeah, we have some people working the quarry right now. Three to be exact, so that should catch up in no time also. Iron. Yeah, we're going to have to focus on that in the mines. That's not going to be a problem. Firewood is still going really, really strong here, so I'm happy about that. 
producing lots of charcoal for us. That was a good move. Our minerals are picking up here. That's because we had all the manual labor pick up all this iron ore. And they're still going to have to work on that. So, hopefully that'll translate into more tools here. But I do not like seeing this. This was an oversight on my part. We should have checked the uh, either the workshop right here, the blacksmith. I was probably showing that icon for a long time, and I'm guessing I ran on 10x a little too long here. So, lessons learned. Our health is picking back up. That additional herbalist here is paying off. But let's also try to focus on purchasing uh, herb seeds here. That's gonna take care of this problem indefinitely. And clothing, yeah. Still, cannot seem to keep up here. So let's uh, let's go 2x here. Perhaps even 5x. Let's go 5x here while we check on our pathing here. See if that's still in order. Somewhat, I guess. We could still build these houses. See, if we're doing okay here. Yeah, that seems to be working out. Although I might need some additional housing once we get our hunting lined up. Excuse me, hunting cabin. Yeah, that's looking pretty good. That is looking pretty good. Let's try to get another log cabin right here. There. Just in preparation for a uh, hunting cabin right there. How's the home the family situation? Oh, okay, we have plenty of homes. That's fine. So yeah, let's try to avoid any tool issues here. It seems as though our stacks burner is at the fuel limit. And that is uh, a good problem, quote unquote, to have. So let's up that to 3000. That way we'll also have more that we can trade away right there. Charcoal seems to trade for three, not four. Well, we can produce it really quickly, so that's going to be fine. Okay, so let's uh, let's see what we're going to have to focus on here. Logs are still good. We might want to build these two eventually, but for the time being, let's focus on other things first. Our stored firewood is doing really good. We just up that limit right there. Food. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, that is not going good at all. So let's also add some fishermen here. One, two, three, four. Let's just add all of them. That's gonna do. It's gonna work out. Finish these homes so the fishermen have somewhere to live. Let's see here. We still have these bitty sheds right there. Let's remove them. And build some homes right here. We're gonna still need a lot of stone though. So that's gonna take quite a while. Let's uh, continue with the uh, stone homes here. Don't build them yet. Let's see uh, what happens when the other two houses finish just across the street here. There's still wooden houses. We'll upgrade them later. No problem. We can finish you too. So let's hope the trader comes by here. So far, things are looking pretty good here. Aside from a few scares here and there. But that's uh, part of learning, I guess. Yep, looking pretty good. Stored textiles here. What are we... Uh, are those leather? No, no leather yet. Yeah. 
we're gonna need weavers for that. We might actually wanna look into that. Let's uh, get a few weavers here. We're gonna need them eventually anyway. Yeah, let's build them right here. Weavers. Two side by side, maybe. Yeah, why not? Right there. And one right here. Let's pause one. So, even with the additional fishermen here, still four laborers and one builder, we're doing pretty good on the labor and the builder section here. Unfortunately, it's going to be difficult to keep up with that in resources, so we're taking a little bit of a riskier approach here. We're not in any danger, but it also has some drawbacks here. Let's fix this. There we go. Another trader. Bison. Oh, thank you, sir. I need cotton. Yep, you're out. We dropped to four hearts, so that's not really a good sign here. Let's make sure that we get more different types of food. As well, let's make sure we get our health back up. That might be developing into a problem also. Our health took a little bit of a bump there, but it's dropping again. So that might be our cue to uh, to build another section right here. So let's uh, let's work to that. Let's work towards that. Right there. Move that one so we can replace it on the road. Maybe here. So let's pick up that forester again. Right there. Pause it for now. And let's build a stockpile. Well, let's uh, let's see here. Let's build the herbalist first. Build it right next to that one. This time, let's uh, build a stockpile right across the street. Like so. There we go. Let's have them finished out. Health is going to be very important. But a lot of things are requiring our attention at the moment. But as soon as we have that finished, that's going to be pretty good. 66% remaining. Okay. Let's check to see what we need to focus on more. Yeah, this is not going the way I'd like it to be. Hopefully food will get a boost. Those fishermen. Let's check to see where they live. Hopefully they can find a place close by. Hmm. Not really. Let's add one more builder here. Or still good? Yeah, that's going real good. Okay, great. Chickens. No, thank you, sir. And as soon as another trader comes by that is going to sell us any seeds, let's place an order for herbs as well. 
so we don't have to depend as much on our herbalists here. Where is our herbalist? Right there. Let's uh, up this to a thousand, maybe. We should have some room, and we do. All the fodder has been removed. Okay, so let's continue here. Our food should improve, especially with those fishermen. Let's also head a few hunters as soon as this building finishes. Logs are doing good, we're at the limit. Stone is still improving. We're needing a lot of stone right here. A lot of stone. But that should catch up pretty soon. Our firewood, our fuel, do really good too. Minerals also. Yeah, okay. This is better. That's a lot better. Tools set at 100. Might even want to up that. How much do we use in a year? 65. Yeah, that means that we can definitely up this. Let's do it to 200 have almost three years that's gonna be good three years of inventory that's our first mine great stuff so yeah that's gonna be the way right there you might want to preemptively build a furnace fueler here because I'd rather mine iron and not iron ore. It's gonna allow us another upgrade here. Going from stone to rough tools, and from rough tools to iron tools right here. That's gonna be much, much better. So let's see here. Right there. Industrial fuel. And let's build a fuel refinery. Where do we want to build it, though? Maybe right here? That's a pretty big unhappiness radius, so that's not real good news right here. Might want to do it here. It's going to be close to the stockpile right here. We'll be in the range again of this Forester, but I'm thinking this is going to be the only Forester right here. So let's build it. that building also and our health yeah we might want to get that another boost right here because this is not gonna last long so let's uh, pick up some herbs manually here like the herbs that is not a lot of herbs right there but it should do So yeah, I think for the time being, it should take a little time to catch up here. After which, we can start working towards other things, like city growth, and maybe uh, start looking to produce some uh, building supplies. So we can open up a whole range of new options here, and then we can really start exploring what this Megamod has for us. Because so far, we have been building pretty standard buildings here, that are known to be good buildings, so that we can at least build up some base here. Still these two sheds. Where are our builders? What are they doing? Finishing some homes right there. mine is being completed that's also great so let's set you to iron and let's put maybe eight people or so here three or four in the coal mine that should be a good ratio okay let's see here yeah we're building a lot of things here so we're producing more than we're using here, but not by a whole lot. Oh, 
overbuilding a lot also, so that might be uh, the cause of this uh, this number right here. Stone, that's fine. We're really outproducing on fuel, so that's good. Food is getting kind of close though. Situ the coal. Which three? So yeah, food. That is really uh, gonna need our attention here. We're also really close in the inventories here. What's that looking like? Yeah, terrible. So let's uh, let's build in a little bit of a safety margin here. And let's go right here. Tidal pool. Hopefully, we can build it somewhere. We had a little trouble in previous episodes building this building, but we should be able to build it. Yeah, let's uh, let's complete this road section right here. Like so, and build a tidal pool right there. And let's also add a few more hunting blinds here. There we go. Side by side. And let's also add one here. And one right there. So a lot of construction here. A lot of construction. Okay. We have two homeless people. That is not so good. Still early summer though, so that's uh, what is going on here. Is that a misclip? So hopefully with this home, that homeless problem is solved. Let's hope so. Keep waiting for that trader. Anyone show up yet? Stone is low, yes sir. There goes our homelessness problem. Now let's keep on working here. Let's try to pick up more stone. If we have any left, yeah, we're depleting that stone on the surface really quickly here. Good thing we have our quarry. Right there. Excellent. Excellent. We're at capacity once again. Are we still doing good on locks? Yeah. So being that we're still good on locks, let's up this to 5,000 here. We have plenty of locks, so producing a little bit more fuel is going to be great. This might look cool. That's great. So now that we have five laborers here, let's uh, let's add a few people here. Let's uh, have six people work the small quarry. That should speed up our stone production by quite a bit. Everybody still lives close by. Right there. Good stuff. Now let's build this forester's lodge and serverless as well, just to prepare. Hell? Yeah, that could really use some some backup right there. I think we're gonna have to make that move sooner rather than later. So there's gonna be our herbalist right there. Do we have a road section right there? Yes, we do. So let's complete this. 
and let's start with another stack burner right here. Let's see, sawmill? Probably not right. Let's keep it at a stack burner. Right there. Pause it for now. And let's build a few homes right here. Let's build. Is this the lockdown? Yes. Okay. So that's three right there. And let's do another three across the street. Okay, that's a hunting cabin. Great. And let's leave that be for now. Don't work there. Is there stone is low? Yes. Beef cows. No. Thank you. Need cotton seeds, or rather flax seeds. And as soon as we have more people, let's uh, employ them at the hunting cabin here. But for now, let's have more people prepare these plots. Still a lot of stone here. That's at least something. No? Okay. Keeps fluctuating. We're not running out of it anytime soon, but that's not gonna hold up for much longer. Clothing is going back up again. That's most likely due to the uh, additional feathers we're getting from more hunting blinds. Stuff. Drag a few windows to the right side again. Good. Keep this hunting light right there. Yeah, this is gonna get depleted really quickly here. Might want to start preparing for that eventuality as well. Could we fit something here? Let's try to build some apiaries right there. Because apiaries will give us additional food and honey, as well as some beeswax. And that beeswax can eventually be processed into candles here. Let's see, is that gathering? Nope. Beekeeping. We have apiaries here, an African beehive. That's interesting, it's very small. Beekeeper. It's also very, very small. A honey seeker. Village bee and hunting production. Village bee shelter. That might actually be interesting here. So let's slow the, down the game here. We could opt for a specialized building here. Seeker, Village Bee and Honey Production. So this is going to be a Village Bee Shelter. Randomly produces honey, comb honey, beeswax and royal jelly. But this Village Bee Shelter... Can you also choose? Now this randomly produces. This version allows you to select production. Either honey, comb honey or beeswax. 
and it's also pretty small here, so that might be that might be a that might be very good here. We can tuck it away somewhere. We won't be needing a lot of it, at least not just yet. So we could just tuck it away right here. It's not that I'm losing any valuable property here. So yeah, let's do that. Let's build that right there. We have three laborers, so let's uh, let's add one to the hunting cabin here. And gradually increase this number as our laborers are coming in. I do like to keep it two laborers as well as two builders though. So uh, this is interesting. What do we have here? Village apiary. Okay. And an actual apiary. Medieval apiary. But let's go for the bee shelter here. Let's see any traders yet? Not close by. Still using up a lot of stone though. And of course, let's also look to uh, build a chandelier here. Right there. Candle maker. That requires a lot of things here. Chandelry is going to be much easier to produce. Let's see if we can get that close by somewhere. Ooh. That looks good. Let's build a, build a chandelry right there. Stone is low. Yes, sir. So yeah, we are producing a lot of buildings here. Luckily, we have some laborers and builders to do that for us. But things are looking up here. Let's quickly check. Our clothing is catching back up again. Slowly but surely, our education is getting back up there as well. Although, our health and happiness could use the boost here. For hearts, we should be able to do better than that. Food is still somewhat dwindling, but we have a hunting blind right here, hunting cabin that we can uh, add people to. It should be able to catch up. So log is still very good. We might actually want to up that to 2,000 here. But let's uh, let's keep the additional labors for now. Stone should be catching up, but we have a lot of stone demand in all these buildings. Not too worried. We're working towards iron here. It's also good. Firewood, yeah, really good. Tools is catching back up again. Right? Yeah, and health. So it's really gonna be maybe food, definitely health. And get our tools sorted out, of course. And once the trader comes by, we'll be uh we'll be good and set for clothing as well. So yeah, let's uh, let's build a solid foundation here before we start doing anything crazy. But uh, we're being pretty productive here. So let's add two more people to the hunting cabin. Keep working on getting... Let's see, did you produce anything? Oh, a little flex here. But hopefully soon we'll start producing more. That will be for our next episode, because we're out of time. So I'd like to uh, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy, and hopefully see you in the next episode too. Thanks.